I'm going to have you guys log on to Haiku. If you click on the factoring, this is the next lesson that we're working on. You're going to, to watch this until you understand it. When everyone in your group is finished with the videos, then I want you talking about it. You can do all these assignments together. With the STEM curriculum that we have here, it has changed the way that I teach. It's changed my mindset of the classroom, the students' mindsets in how they learn, and just the makeup of the entire class. So it's, it's really changed me as a teacher. And with Race to the Top coming in and being a part of a STEM program with NCVPS, it's allowed me to become a better teacher and to take those skills and share it with other teachers. The students use technology daily. They use the iPads and or laptops. They view videos, they create lessons, they work out a variety of different things with different apps that are on the iPad. So it's a hands-on based learning. So instead of just doing worksheets and problems, just kind of out of rote memory, they're doing a grand challenge or a project over several weeks that incorporate all of the skills of science, technology, engineering, and math. So the learning is a lot more fun. It's all hands-on and everything is done in groups. And I want to hear you guys talking about it. Okay, I want to know that you understood what I said in those videos. Okay, that's why I want you talking. The X squared in both of them. You don't square the eggs. Well, it's right eggs. squared right here. Yeah, but you're gonna, you gotta split it up. So it won't, it won't be square. I want you explaining what you just did. Explain to them. Me? Mm-hmm. I want you, I want, this is an individual. I want you talking as a group. If you talk about it, you'll learn it faster. The STEM courses, I believe, help prepare the students for any field. It really forces them to look at themselves and find out how they learn and find out ways that they can learn and it pushes them. Write the first problem down and then see if you guys understand it the same way. Two numbers right here that equal our sum and put it in the parentheses.